Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program designed to help you integrate and heal the pattern and beliefs of childhood criticism. This is an emotional EMDR mini course whose goal is to guide you through a process of understanding, reframing, and building resilience to this pattern and beliefs. It is recommended that you use this program in full screen mode, while sitting still and upright. Follow the movements of the ball or pattern on the screen with your eyes. As the words from the audio are spoken, notice the feelings they evoke in your body and any mental images that may arise. If your mind starts to wander, gently redirect your focus back to the moving ball or pattern. Optionally, or if you are not able to use video, you can also tap on one or more EFT points. How it works. In step one, we evoke the distressful emotional state of the belief or pattern. Note. This can be emotionally triggering. Take full responsibility for your well-being. In step two, we offer ourselves loving, compassionate self-acceptance for this state and beliefs. We then reframe the belief, pattern or state with new positive suggestions to the mind. We then bridge the mind into the new, more positive reality. We finally express gratitude for the new positive reality, taking it as fact. Ready. Section 1. Unpacking Emotional Experiences. We begin with a setup of the issue. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still deeply love, honor and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. As a child, I constantly felt criticized for every action and word. I often think I'm not good enough because of the harsh words I heard growing up. The memory of being belittled in my childhood haunts me in my quiet moments. Even now, I hear those critical voices in my head when I try something new. I feel like I'm always under scrutiny, just like when I was young. The fear of making mistakes comes from the severe criticism I faced as a child. I am trapped in a cycle of self-doubt, born from my childhood experiences. The pressure to be perfect stems from the constant critiques I endured growing up. I struggle to accept compliments because I rarely received any in my youth. Feelings of inadequacy in my work often mirror the disapproval I felt as a child. The need for external validation I have now is tied to the lack of approval in my past. My hesitation to express myself comes from the fear of being judged, like in my childhood. I replay moments of criticism from my past, affecting my self-esteem now. When I face challenges, I hear the critical voices from my childhood echoing in my mind. The anxiety of not meeting expectations is a shadow of my childhood criticisms. I struggle to take risks, haunted by memories of being harshly judged. The reluctance to share my true feelings is rooted in the negative feedback I received as a child. I find it hard to believe in my capabilities due to the constant disapproval I faced. My fear of rejection is magnified by the critical voices from my past. I feel overwhelmed by the need to prove myself, a result of never feeling good enough as a child. The struggle to find my voice comes from being silenced by criticism. Memories of being demeaned affect how I perceive my worth today. I have a deep-seated fear of failure stemming from my childhood experiences of criticism. I often feel invisible, reflecting how my efforts were ignored or criticized in the past. The burden of always trying to improve myself is linked to the constant criticism I endured. Section 2. Feel into this balanced, compassionate perspective from your inner coach. Maintain your attention on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I lovingly acknowledge the pain of feeling constantly criticized as a child and understand its impact on me. I gently accept my feelings of not being good enough, seeing them as a result of my past. I compassionately embrace the haunting memories of being belittled, recognizing their influence on my quiet moments. I warmly welcome the critical voices in my head, understanding they stem from my attempts to try something new. I kindly acknowledge my feeling of being under scrutiny, and see it as a reflection of my past. I embrace my fear of making mistakes, recognizing it as a legacy of past criticism. I hold my cycle of self-doubt with compassion, 
understanding its roots in my childhood. I gently accept the pressure to be perfect, knowing it comes from the critiques of my upbringing. I compassionately recognize my struggle to accept compliments, seeing it as a consequence of my youth. I warmly acknowledge my feelings of inadequacy at work, understanding they mirror past disapproval. I lovingly accept my need for external validation, seeing it as connected to my past lack of approval. I hold my hesitation to express myself with gentle understanding, recognizing its origin in past judgments. I compassionately observe the replayed moments of criticism, acknowledging their effect on my self-esteem. I lovingly hold the critical voices from my childhood in my mind, understanding their impact on my current challenges. I gently accept my anxiety about meeting expectations, knowing it's a shadow of past criticisms. I warmly acknowledge my struggle to take risks, seeing it as influenced by memories of harsh judgment. I compassionately embrace my reluctance to share feelings, understanding its roots in negative feedback from my past. I lovingly accept the difficulty in believing in myself, seeing it as a result of constant disapproval. I gently hold my fear of rejection, recognizing it as magnified by critical voices from my past. I kindly acknowledge the overwhelming need to prove myself, understanding it stems from never feeling good enough as a child. I compassionately embrace the struggle to find my voice, seeing it as a result of being silenced by criticism. I warmly hold the memories of being demeaned, understanding their effect on my self-perception. I lovingly accept my deep-seated fear of failure, recognizing it as stemming from childhood criticisms. I gently acknowledge the feeling of invisibility, seeing it as linked to how my efforts were treated in the past. I compassionately hold the burden of constant self-improvement, understanding it's connected to enduring criticism. Section 3. Visualizing positive change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace the strength I gained from overcoming childhood criticism. I am open to seeing my past experiences as stepping stones to a stronger sense of self. I could consider the haunting memories as reminders of how far I've come. It would be nice if I could use the critical voices as motivation to pursue my passions fearlessly. It is possible that my past scrutiny has prepared me for greater resilience today. I can start seeing my fear of mistakes as a guide towards learning and growth. I am willing to explore the power in transforming self-doubt into self-assurance. I have the opportunity to redefine perfection as personal progress rather than external approval. I am capable of turning the challenge of accepting compliments into a journey of self-acceptance. I embrace the idea of seeing my work-related inadequacies as opportunities for development. I am ready to find internal validation and lessen the impact of external opinions. I am beginning to see my hesitation to express myself as a chance to discover my authentic voice. I am receptive to transforming replayed criticisms into affirmations of my worth. I am shifting towards using past challenges as fuel for my current successes. I am open-minded about viewing my anxiety as a sign of my dedication and commitment. I am allowing myself to perceive risk-taking as an exciting path to personal discovery. I can imagine transforming my reluctance to share feelings into a strength of vulnerability. It might be beneficial to view my past disapproval as a contrast to my present self-belief. I am prepared to turn my fear of rejection into an opportunity for self-empowerment. I am choosing to focus on my journey of proving my worth to myself above others. I am open to the possibility of finding my unique voice amidst past silencing. I can see the potential for transforming demeaning memories into lessons of self-worth. I am becoming more aware of seeing my fear of failure as a catalyst for success. I am starting to believe in my visibility and the value of my contributions. I am exploring the idea of turning the pursuit of self-improvement into a celebration of personal growth. Section 4. Bridging the two worlds from emotion to aspiration. Remember to maintain your focus on the EMDR screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I constantly felt criticized as a child, I lovingly acknowledge this pain and understand its impact, and I am choosing now to embrace the strength I gained from overcoming it. 
Although I often think I'm not good enough because of harsh childhood words, I gently accept these feelings as a result of my past, and I am open to seeing these experiences as stepping stones to a stronger self. Despite the memory of being belittled haunting me, I compassionately embrace these memories, recognizing their influence, and I could consider them reminders of how far I've come. While I hear critical voices in my head when trying new things, stemming from my past, I warmly welcome them, understanding their origin, and it would be nice if I used this as motivation to pursue my passions fearlessly. Even though I feel like I'm always under scrutiny, mirroring my youth, I kindly acknowledge this feeling as a reflection of my past, and it is possible that this has prepared me for greater resilience today. Though the fear of making mistakes comes from severe childhood criticism, I embrace this fear, recognizing it as a legacy of the past, and I can start seeing it as a guide towards learning and growth. Although trapped in a cycle of self-doubt from my childhood, I hold this cycle with compassion, understanding its roots, and I am willing to explore the power in transforming self-doubt into self-assurance. Despite the pressure to be perfect stemming from my upbringing, I gently accept this pressure, knowing its source, and I have the opportunity to redefine perfection as personal progress. While struggling to accept compliments due to my youth, I compassionately recognize this struggle, and I am capable of turning it into a journey of self-acceptance. Although feelings of inadequacy at work often mirror childhood disapproval, I warmly acknowledge these feelings, understanding they mirror past disapproval, and I embrace the idea of seeing these as opportunities for development. Even though my need for external validation is tied to a lack of past approval, I lovingly accept this need, seeing it as connected to my past, and I am ready to find internal validation. Though my hesitation to express myself comes from fear of judgment in my childhood, I hold this hesitation. With gentle understanding, and I am beginning to see it as a chance to discover my authentic voice. Despite replaying moments of criticism from my past, affecting my self-esteem, I compassionately observe these moments, acknowledging their effect, and I am receptive to transforming them into affirmations of my worth. While facing challenges, I hear childhood critical voices, but I lovingly hold these voices, understanding their impact, and I am shifting towards using them as fuel for my current successes. Although I experience anxiety about meeting expectations, a shadow of past criticisms, I gently accept this anxiety, knowing its origin, and I am open-minded about viewing it as a sign of dedication and commitment. Though I struggle to take risks due to memories of harsh judgment, I warmly acknowledge this struggle, seeing it as influenced by my past, and I am allowing myself to perceive risk-taking as an exciting path to personal discovery. Even if my reluctance to share true feelings is rooted in negative feedback from my childhood, I compassionately embrace this reluctance, and I can imagine transforming it into a strength of vulnerability. While finding it hard to believe in my capabilities due to constant disapproval, I lovingly accept this difficulty, seeing it as a result of my past, and it might be beneficial to view it as a contrast to my present self-belief. Though my fear of rejection is magnified by critical voices from my past, I gently hold this fear, recognizing its magnification, and I am prepared to turn it into an opportunity for self-empowerment. Despite feeling overwhelmed by the need to prove myself, a result of never feeling good enough as a child, I kindly acknowledge this feeling, understanding its stem, and I am choosing to focus on my journey of proving my worth to myself. Although the struggle to find my voice comes from being silenced by criticism, I compassionately embrace this struggle, seeing it as a result of my past, and I am open to the possibility of finding my unique voice amidst past silencing. While memories of being demeaned affect how I perceive my worth today, I warmly hold these memories, understanding their effect, and I can see the potential for transforming them into lessons of self-worth. Even though I have a deep-seated fear of failure stemming from childhood criticisms, I lovingly accept this fear, recognizing its origin, and I am becoming more aware of seeing it as a catalyst for success. Though I often feel invisible, reflecting how my efforts were ignored or criticized in the past, I gently acknowledge this feeling, seeing it as linked to my past, and I am starting to believe in my visibility and the value of my contributions. 
While the burden of always trying to improve myself is linked to constant criticism, I compassionately hold this burden, understanding its connection, and I am exploring the idea of turning it into a celebration of personal growth. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go into gratitude. Section 5. Preemptive Gratitude for Transformation. I am grateful for the resilience I've gained from my journey, transforming childhood criticism into strength. I give thanks for the ability to see my past experiences as stepping stones to a stronger, more confident self. I am thankful for the lessons learned from my past, allowing me to embrace my present with greater wisdom. I appreciate the motivation that past critical voices now provide, fueling my passions and pursuits. I am grateful for the resilience born from past scrutiny, preparing me for life's challenges. I give thanks for my fear of mistakes, as it guides me towards learning and personal growth. I am grateful for the opportunity to transform self-doubt into a powerful sense of self-assurance. I appreciate my journey towards redefining perfection, focusing on personal progress and self-acceptance. I am thankful for the ability to turn the challenge of accepting compliments into a celebration of my worth. I give thanks for recognizing my work-related inadequacies as opportunities for development and growth. I am grateful for finding internal validation, lessening the impact of external opinions on my self-esteem. I appreciate the chance to discover my authentic voice, overcoming my past hesitations to express myself. I am thankful for the ability to transform replayed criticisms into affirmations of my worth and capability. I give thanks for using past challenges as fuel for my current successes, building a stronger, more confident me. I am grateful for the insight to view my anxiety as a sign of dedication and commitment to my goals. Through this journey, you have transitioned from the shadows of childhood criticism to a place of strength and self-acceptance. You've acknowledged the pain and its profound impact, but have chosen to transform it into resilience and self-assurance. Your past experiences, once a source of doubt and fear, are now stepping stones to a more confident and authentic self. This process has not only helped you redefine your self-perception but also allowed you to embrace gratitude for the growth and wisdom gained. You stand today as a testament to the power of transformation, embodying the strength that comes from turning challenges into opportunities for personal development and self-empowerment. Visualization. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Visualize yourself standing in a serene garden, the sun gently warming your skin. Around you are stones, each engraved with a memory or feeling from your past. As you walk through the garden, pick up a stone, feel its weight, and recognize it as a moment of criticism from your childhood. Now, place it down gently, transforming it into a flower, vibrant and full of life. This flower represents the strength and resilience you've gained. Continue this process with each stone, transforming them into beautiful flowers, creating a path of color and life. With each step, feel lighter and more empowered, acknowledging your journey of turning pain into beauty, doubt into confidence. As you reach the end of the path, look back at the garden of flowers, each a symbol of your transformation and growth. Take another deep breath and when you're ready, open your eyes, carrying this image of transformation and empowerment with you. Concluding affirmation, I am a beacon of strength and self-assurance, transformed by my experiences. I embrace my journey with gratitude, acknowledging the wisdom and resilience I have gained. I am empowered, confident, and ready to face the future with a heart full of gratitude and a mind open to endless possibilities. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started, and consider journaling your notes about this session and any areas you'd like to explore. Be attentive to the potential reduction in the emotional weight of certain memories and actual circumstance shifts in your daily life. Note that it may take one several or many uses of this program to completely clear or reframe this pattern and beliefs. This program and affirmations serve to fortify your inner journey toward a more empowered state. Feel free to revisit them whenever you need to. For more details, 
See the link in the bio or description below.